Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to this fifth Mindful Monday. And today we have a specific spotlight that we will cover. As I've seen a lot in the comment section, not only below my video, also on Twitter, on different content creators videos, that people struggle and are tired of facing machines. And this pick right here from one of the recent area cups is a perfect representation of that. What we see here are the team comps from uh, 16 teams that played in the area cup. And just look at the amount of machines in there. There's even a team running <laughs> quadruple machine as it's just so strong. But in the recent area cup, we saw a change and a lot of people also talked about this and discussed it. There's a change of meta. We have the first counter meta that is developing. We still have a bunch of machines in here, but if you look at the teams closely, Tetras, Tetras, v um, VDS and even Gilugas are now represented. And Dually, as a weapon class seems to be the counter to machine at the moment as you can't run shooters into machines as they're simply outclassed by them they get outranged um, they have a bigger hitbox and they can just wall them out it's hard to fight machines and even get close to them but duelies can close the distance quite easily and engage and disengage quite fast and easily and for that matter I went ahead and asked for Tetra gameplay. So everyone maybe has a new weapon to pick up in Counter Machines now. And Bedu, a competitive player, send in a replay from 20XX. The biggest, yeah, the, the first major tournament happening in Splatoon 3. We even had prize money of $700 or so. And as always, um, <laughs> we we stop right ahead. This is a insane cracked lobby. You've already spotted Soren, I believe, paired up with a few of the members from formerly Knights of Queen, a Division X team, and also this team here: Bedu, Mist, KitKat, Yosh Gamer. This lobby is is stacked. Like you can see, this is a tournament match. Everyone is highly talented in here, and we see. On the yeah other side, Double Machine Junior Leader, a typical zones comp. Every weapon in here fits into the meta. And on the other side, we see um, Leader and Junior stay the same. They're just a very strong um, duo for zones as they have the range. They have good paint to contest and stall zone. And then we have a shot another aggressive uh, aggressive option for a team which in zones can be tricky but also gives great potential to build up from when you have someone to go in and get the kills and go for shocks and then there's Bidu on tetras <laughs> and we'll just have it see here qr a typical tetra build lde on the junior just the junior while the other team runs full on LDE and three times in Ninja Squid. Opening here on the right side. Looking for the first stealth attempt. Going in from behind, unnoticed, gets the first pick, looks for the leader, finds the junior instead. Very good. Very good flank here from behind. And now they're double teaming for the leader. And even if they don't get the kill in this situation, this is perfectly fine. If you manage to force their backline out so that they don't have influence on the game for around 10 seconds, that is perfectly fine. This is the time where you paint up very fast and this is why you have the junior. They can cover the ground that you need and you have both Tetra and the shot to take aggressive positions so they can Watch for stealth kills on people going in too fast again. If you see this here, Bidu covering a lot of the ground in 
the opposing spawn here. And you see this? This is why dualies are the counterplay to machine. Cam is not a bad player. He this they they don't have bad aim. It's just that dualies and especially Tetras are so hard to hit. Cam had bad chances in this matchup. And Bedou perfectly utilizes this and takes an even more aggressive position. Because what they do here, and I want to switch over to here. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's, let's do it this way. Bedou sits over here. And with that, we've seen, we've seen a player on top of here, I believe. And by taking this position, Bidou makes sure players either have to face him here and have to take a fight that is completely unnecessary as the zone is ticking down in the meantime. And if they decide to not fight him and rather go for zone, which is, yeah, the, the better play, they're all trapped in this area somewhere. And this makes it easy to defend. They have a leader that can look at everything that is on top of here and decides to drop. They have a shot that can shark somewhere in here and go for a kill on one of the players, just not playing it safe enough. And the junior can just paint against them. This area is much easier to cover as when they have their whole spawn to move. So this is, this is great positioning here, great setup play. Let's switch back. Stays here. And they are actually supported. Both aggressive players here now. I sadly can't stop in this position, but we see what we've just talked about. All players trapped in this tiny area. They can paint over it. The double booyah lands and might, <laughs> might get the zone. But in this case, it doesn't. The junior just simply paints over it. Bidu goes in from behind with a perfect grief slider here. Um, Securing both machines and I stopped in a beautiful moment uh, Just seconds before they'll not only get the but the fourth kill and you see it the machine can't hit the dually yet again It's it's just not no <laughs> It's it's not happening and with this setup you have a wipeout in the last um, 15 zone ticks they're not going to make it back we see both weapons here setting up in the front. Bedou doesn't even have to shock. If he's playing aggressive here, they have to fight him. And if they fight him, it's over. But in this case, it's so late into the game. They won't make it to zone anyway. A perfect representation of how Dually is played against Double Machine. I really, really like this game. Thanks for sending it in. It's even a tournament match, so it's re it's representative um, on how it works with good players and against good players. So this was an even matchup. There was one by better weapon picks, and in this case, very, very well executed counterplay. I really like the spotlight and. I can't wait how the meta develops throughout the next weeks and each and every Monday I'll be here covering the newest information. I'll be keeping you updated on what is best, how to use which weapon and I'm glad we can all sit here every Monday and learn something new. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. You know it, this is the exact moment where you can head over to the community tab and send in your replay card with a short description, map and mode, what is happening, what we should focus on, and maybe you're the one to get featured next Monday. Like and subscribe as always, ring the notification bell, and enjoy your day. And to the next video. Bye bye.